Whether it's the fast pace of the sound machine at North Carolina Central University. Thank you for joining us here today. Or the slow, methodical snake walk of the famed Marching 100 at Florida A&M. Let's go. Hey, turn up. Or perhaps the platinum sound of Shaw University. The pageantry of marching bands at historically black colleges and universities is something that cannot be duplicated. They leave it all on the field. Even Pepsi sees and knows that with the recent release of this commercial called the Halftime Game. It's like none other, right? I mean, like you want to strike up the band if you're a football player. ESPN HBCU color analyst and Florida a &M grad Tiffany Green knows that experience firsthand. She sees it every Saturday in the fall while she calls the action on the gridiron. It's the soundtrack for the football game. So there is no football game without a band. She knows for many, the halftime show really is the true attraction. I would argue that they are equally as important as the football team. At North Carolina Central. Coming in freshman year, that was my first time marching. When it comes to the sound machine, drum majors Donnell Troy Jr. and Hassan Gaddy aren't playing around. Being in the marching band, of course, you create more of a family aura. So when you're here, it's like, I actually feel like home. The culture is very different. It's very fun to be in and just, you know, just have fun. The band director, Thurman Hollins. Marching band that was founded in 1938 on this campus. Tells me the 130 plus piece band and its rich history really teach as much about life as it does music. We represent the entire school all in one ensemble. And when it comes to class, it's about striking that right chord for success. That's like a part of the daily announcements, you know, go to class. Uh, we, um, we break them into actually clusters of students by major within the band too, so they can mentor each other and tutor each other. For HBCUs like Shaw, the bands are really more than just an opportunity to fill the stands and get people all excited about a game and really just come have a good time. They really are sort of like educational Pied Pipers, if you will. They lure prospective students to come here to Shaw and other schools to keep that educational legacy going. And that is on full display in this McDonald's commercial featuring a Shaw University grad and her son who marched in his mother's footsteps. This is something that I never uh, would have uh, dreamt of. Shaw's band director Andre King tells me the band and the football program went away until two decades ago. Next year will be our 20th year anniversary here um, with bringing back football and marching band. But like the commercial shows, band is a great way to attract students, both legacy and first timers alike, and cement a legacy. It is a blessing that, you know, HBCUs as a whole is being recognized. Oh, Whether it's the tasty sounds of Shaw and McDonald's in 2021, the unmistakable sound machine at Central, the FAMU marching band in the 80s or now. The rich history of HBCU marching bands will ring through for years to come. The atmosphere is, is, is an uproar. Without the band, it's just a game. In Raleigh, North Carolina, I'm Rod Carter.